Hello everybody and welcome to a new Eurovision Hub reaction video. In today's video we're taking a look back at Ukraine in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest from their debut in 2006 up until 2019. But as usual, before we get into the video, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit this notification bell down below so you will never miss any of our new videos. We have never seen any act from the Eurovision, Junior Eurovision Song Contest, so I think it's going to be fun for us to see it. I love Junior Eurovision. So let's go. Ooh. What a cool, cool kid. Wow, what a debut. He's like a uh, little Elvis from Ukraine. When Junior Eurovision songs were childish because this is a children's show. So groovy. Rock and roll boy. <laughs> Amazing! His voice is so powerful. <laughs> oh, I adore these! What a costume change! But was she so confident on stage? I mean, she yes. looks so young. Sassy. Oi, oi! <laughs> Once she's having that attitude, they. It's like the song was tailor made for her. It's so authentic, this one. So authentic. I think Ukraine is one of the best countries when we are talking about the stages. The dolphin, cute! I want to ride a while. I love that they're singing in their own language. Ukrainian. This is a party! This chorus really reminds me of a song and I've been trying to figure it out for like the past 12 years. It's so happy! And they, they know how to throw a party, let's just say that. This is amazing. Love the ethnic, love it! We need this at your music. This one does have a kind of fairy tale esque feel to it. I love how inclusive the performance is, you know? Oh, that's so my vibe. This one, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Berska Sedulska vibes! Oh, we've taken a different direction, sonically. I don't even know what to say to half of these. These are just amazing. And she's like bad at spelling down there, like the normal ones. Is that the vibe here? Ooh, love the paladinas. Yeah. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And this was the time when songs in the junior Eurovision started shifting to a more adult sound. Ooh, and she has the vocals as well. She got flags on her dress. I know so many Eurovision fans that would love her costume. I want that skirt. Oh, she has all the countries on her dress. Desperately. See, see, see. Sing, sing, sing. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh. uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Europa. It's like, you know, Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana. I'm intimidated by these kids. I don't think this song deserves to come that low. Anastasia Patrick is the youngest winner. I think she was eight. I understand why she was the winner. And she broke the 12 points record. Oh my god, chills. This is something else. Ooh, that. Wind machine. This is dramatic. Smoke machine. The staging and everything is so amazing. Flowing fabric. The little frozen princess from Ukraine. A little bit of white one of the best Junior Eurovision Song Contest winners. Oh. What? <laughs> this is like a more major song. Well, you're a pop. She's alone on stage and she can do the show by herself. Not only one of the best voices I've ever heard at the Junior Contest is one of the best voices I've heard ever. It's more traditional vibe. Staging is everything. Mystical, ethereal, the strings in the background, it's quite rich. Yes, I like this. 
these kids are magnificent. You know, just from voices alone, you wouldn't be able to tell these are kids because they just have such power vocals. Hey! <laughs> Ooh! No. This is like a cold song or something. Twenty fifteen. This is a quality song. I mean, they can sing. I'm so jealous. I want to sing like that. I don't think it deserved eleventh. They just have so much better. Oh, this one's a bit dramatic, isn't it? Very statement dress. Oh, we got a key change. Yay! Okay. This reminds me like the colors of Rise Like a Phoenix. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Rise Like a Phoenix vibe, I think. Give me that Ukrainian. They even know how to like smile to the camera it's and everything. Smashing. And you can just see the maturity and the professionalism coming through. This one isn't grabbing me. Oh, there's a candlestick. The song is nice, but I'm missing some kind of originality. Oh, it's an umbrella. No, I don't like it. Even if the staging is like kind of beautiful. <laughs> Very child friendly, it's just very feel good, isn't it? For you. And there's her dream boy sitting in a tree. 14th place, I feel like this definitely deserves more. I find every song cute. Nothing special. I'm not a big fan of these latest songs. It's just very generic. <laughs> Wait, what? This song was like mind-blowing. Ooh, wow! Yes! This was robbed! She had so much attitude and so much confidence on stage. I like this one more than the winning song. Future artist. Wow! She's cool! Robbed, robbed. Now this is a bop. This is quite good. Robbed, robbed. This is hands down one of the best Junior Eurovision songs ever. Oh yes, last year's. I know it, I feel it. Absolute daylight robbery. Again, the staging, it's just so beautiful. Oh, I'm loving this already. This is very grown up music. Yes. And the work with lighting, perfect. The song wasn't great, but the staging was good enough. Ooh, that lost note. And I'm sorry that you had to hear me sing. <laughs> oh. That was so much fun! Eee, it's the Eurovision season! Can I just say I'm from Ukraine and um, I could not be more proud to be from Ukraine knowing that there are like talented kids like this there right now. I'm just so happy. Well, who were your favorites? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.